Topping the news this morning, former Patriots tight end Aaron Hernandez is waking up in jail this morning after being charged with murder. This is video of Hernandez being led into the Bristol County House of Corrections last night, not long after being arraigned on the charges connected to the killing of Odin Lloyd. In court, prosecutors outlined the case against the now former football player, detailing what investigators say happened in the days and hours leading up to Lloyd's death. And that apparently included an argument that the two had about what happened at a Boston nightclub on the Friday before the murder. They had gone to a club rumor in the city of Boston, and at that club, the victim had spoken to a couple people, and the defendant told him that he was upset about that because he had essentially troubles with those people. Prosecutors say Hernandez and two other men picked up Lloyd at his Dorchester home early on Monday and then drove him to North Attleboro, where the victim was shot multiple times in an industrial park. Investigators say the three returned to Hernandez's home less than a mile away, and someone destroyed home surveillance footage inside. Now we're learning of a second arrest connected to this case. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson is live in Dartmouth this morning with the new overnight details. Andrew? Well, Danielle and Patrick, when we were in the courtroom on Wednesday, Aaron Hernandez was the only defendant mentioned by name. But now we're finding out about a man named Carlos Ortiz who may be involved in this investigation as well. A Boston Globe reporter is saying that Ortiz is being held on one and a half million dollars bond in connection with the Hernandez case. Ortiz was arrested in Bristol, Connecticut on Wednesday. That's the same place where Hernandez is from. According to reports, Ortiz has waived extradition to Massachusetts. Also last night, a home belonging to Hernandez's relatives was searched. Just before 8 p.m., investigators from Connecticut and Massachusetts came to the home and combed it for more than two hours. Eventually, they took a black folder out of the house as neighbors watched on. Residents of the Connecticut town say they're shocked to see what's happened to their former hometown hero. To be a role model to the kids and then do something stupid, it's really bad. It's, it's, it's devastating to uh, his family, it's devastating to the victim's family, it's uh, devastating to everybody that, that knows him. Others that were close to Hernandez are speaking out as well. Coming up in our next half hour, we're going to hear from Hernandez's cousin on how these murder charges are affecting the family. Live with Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.